Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and in this video tutorial, we're gonna be showing you how to do a planet rig in After Effects. So this is actually significantly more challenging than you'd probably think, um, especially if you don't use this one simple trick that I'll show you how to use in this, in this video. So um, there are other programs that are significantly better to use for this type of application, such as Cinema 4D, but not everyone has Cinema 4D, it's expensive. And um, I only have the light version here. So. I'm going to show you how I got this simple planet rig in After Effects where everything's kind of spinning and connected as you'd expect a planet and a moon to operate. So um, let's just go ahead and jump in After Effects and I'll show you what I mean. Here. So um, let's see, you can see here that this planet is spinning and the moon's spinning around with it. You probably saw that in the beginning. Um, and I'm just going to kind of break down the things that I have in this in this video so that way if you download this at patreon.com slash mobox then you'll understand what everything means. So. I've got an alien map here with some clouds that actually move. And you could actually paste your own um, planet here, your planet map here. And I have this moon landscape, which has no movement at all, but you can go ahead and again, paste your, your moon landscape there. Um, so the simple trick to get this to work is auto orient. And so to do that, you add a camera, layer new camera. Step two, you make your layers 3D. And step three, uh, right click your layer, go to transform, auto orient, and check auto orient to camera. And so the top one here actually does not have auto orient on, the bottom one does. And, I'll sh and you'll see the difference between what you actually get from that. So you can see here that the one down here actually looks like a 3D sphere spinning, whereas the top one doesn't. And I'll show you that these actually are not 3D spheres. See, when I spin this, the camera, this bottom one is actually just continuously looking at the camera no matter which way I spin it, whereas this top one is actually kind of facing the direction that its rotation is supposed to be facing. So um, that's the trick used to get this to work. Um, and it's it's necessary or else you'd have to use advanced trigonometry, which I wasn't able to figure out in the last year and a half as I've been trying to figure this out. So, all right, let's jump into this composition here. I'm just gonna create a layer new solid for my background. That black color is fine, I'm just gonna lock that layer. So coming in here, I'm gonna find my alien map. And let's see, can it lock to the center? There it goes, it's locked. And I'm gonna go under effects and presets and search for CC sphere. I already searched for it, so I'm just gonna just drag that on. I'm gonna increase the radius. And I'm gonna change this lighting setup. So this shading doesn't really work uh, with this rig, but I'll show you how to add shading in later if you want to. So I just brought the intensity down and the ambient up, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the moon. Maybe bring the radius down. Okay, now I'm just gonna make both of these layers 3D. And I'm just gonna move the moon over by holding shift. Let's make this fit to 100%. I guess it was already. I'm just gonna make this moon maybe a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I need to make two null objects, layer new null. And I'm just gonna duplicate that layer by hitting control D, making them 3D as well. And I am going to rename these, this to master controller and this one to moon controller and I'm gonna add a camera layer new camera camera one's fine I'm just gonna move that to the top I'm actually gonna just lock that layer so I don't accidentally move it um, now for this moon landscape I'm gonna right click go to transform auto orient orient towards camera and hit OK you actually see that it just spun just a little bit. It's a little bit off axis, but it works. So now here, I'm gonna marry this moon landscape to the moon controller. And you see the moon controller's uh, center point is in the center of the planet. So if I hit R on the keyboard and I rotate this um, around the Y, you can see that the moon spins, but the moon is constantly facing the camera, which is exactly what you want. So now to get the rotation of the planet and the moon and everything. Um, so in these CC spheres, you'll see this rotation um, and you can add some rotation. But again, this is all happening in 2D space. None of this is happening in 3D space. Um, however, if I hit Alt and I click on the XYZ for that, as well as the alien planet, 
and the moon controller, which is just R on the keyboard to bring up your rotations. Hold Alt. And now bring up the master controller rotation, hit R. So now I have all my layers showing here that I need to address to make this rig work. So I'm just gonna go through this. If you wanna explore, mess around with it later, you'll probably gain more understanding. But basically I want the moon controller to follow completely the master controller. So when we spin this, when we spin the master controller, the moon spins. Um, and I wanna do the same thing for the moon landscape. However, for reasons unknown to me, the X and Y actually spin in the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna multiply this by negative one and do the same thing for the Y. But the Z appears to work properly. So I'm just gonna hit copy and paste these down below. Just like that. And now let's see what happens when I move this master controller. Everything's rigged up just as you would expect. So that's really pretty awesome. Um, now we can make this even more complex. Uh, maybe under the master controller, we add two slider controllers or a few slider controllers. I'm just gonna add maybe three or four. I don't have to use them all. But I could rename these to, let's see if I could just open up the effects here. I could rename this to um, planet spin, moon spin, moon orbit. And I'll just leave that fourth one there just in case I could think of something else. But basically, since we're using this controller, um, or on the keyboard, since we're using this controller to kind of move the entire planet and system, you may want to have, you know, cause the, you don't want the, the earth to, to orbit or to spin at the same rate that the moon is orbiting necessarily. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, but if you don't, you can use these uh, slider controls. So if, uh, let's see, for example, see our moon landscape here are spinning on our Y axis. Um, I can say, plus and drag this up to um, moon spin and on this moon spin I can hold alt and type in loop out continue so this will continue two keyframes so if I set a keyframe there and then after two seconds I set this to let's say five this will just continue to, to spin at that same rate. As you can see there, that's not very much, but um, let's see, maybe 10. So this moon will have a slight spin to it in accordance with this expression. Uh, maybe I wanna spin it in accordance with negative the expression, since everything is negative. Um, and then I could do the same thing for the planet spin. minus planet spin, holding alt, can copy this expression up, and I can set some keyframes. So now we have the planet and moon spinning, maybe at different rates. Um, I'm just gonna hit control S here just to save this composition so I don't crash my computer doing this. Sometimes this could be quite um, expensive on your CPU. Um, and then moon orbit, so I would obviously control the Y spin on the moon controller. So I could do plus since this is a positive number. Bring this pick quick up to moon orbit, holding alt and paste the same loop out expression. Maybe set this to eight. So now this moon is orbiting that planet separate from the moon controller. So here I can now set keyframes for this. The Z sometimes does not work. 
um, but it appears to be working now. Sometimes it doesn't work because the orientation of the moon and the way it auto orients to the camera, sometimes the Z doesn't work, but you could do everything you'd want to do with the X and Y. So this might look horrible, but but all of this, this whole system is is working just as if a, it was a typical planet in a moon system, right? So the moon has an orbit speed, the moon is spinning, the Earth is spinning, and you're moving the entire system, you're spinning the entire system. So that was previously not possible in After Effects. Um, so let me show you kind of what I mean by this. If I go 90 degrees, and let's say I want this whole system to spin as this comes back to zero. So the system's operating just like a normal system, and I want this to rotate to this view, but the whole system is still kind of functioning like it's like a normal system. Again, this was extraordinarily difficult to do um, with simply null objects and not using auto orient. Now, let's say I want this moon to orbit in reverse. Ooh, that's jarring. Too fast. But you could do it all with this. Now let's talk about how to get shading in here. So I'm just gonna set all of these back to zero, come back to the very beginning. Maybe even just get rid of all of these keyframes to, to, to get all together. Now, um, this is for advanced users. If this is all you needed, you're good to go, go have fun. But if you're not an advanced user, or I mean, if you are an advanced user, you can go layer new um, or composition, new composition. And I'm going to make this maybe 4,000 by 2,000. I think that that's probably fine. And I'm going to create a layer new solid. I'm going to make it black. Okay. I'm going to go layer new solid. And I'm going to make this one white. Hit OK. Now if I right click, go to mask, create a new mask. And just kind of drag this mask into the center, kind of like that. Shrink this mask down, holding Alt or Control solves some of your issues there. Um, and I open up this mask and I go to uh, Feather and increase the feathering a lot. I may need to So you see this nice feather. I'm gonna bring this feathering down a little bit. It's a little bit extreme. Okay. You'll you won't understand it until I show you. Um, but I'm gonna jump back to my tutorial. I'm gonna actually rename this to um, Shadow. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and drag my shadow into After Effects. Obviously this composition. Um, search for CC Sphere. Drag it on top. I know my alien landscape is 336.0. So I'm gonna make this 336.5, just so it kind of goes all the way to the edges. I'm gonna do the same thing I was doing before. So bring the light all the way down to zero, the intensity up. And I'm gonna change this to hard light. So let me drag this above the alien map. And now I'm just gonna adjust the shading until I like it. It's about there. 
But you'll notice here when I rotate this, you do get that beautiful shading effect. And if I made this dark gray background, um, effect generate fill, if I made it black, you'll get that beautiful effect. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing for uh, the moon. So let's see what my moon landscape is set to, 74. Make sure these are 3D layers. Before I move it over, I should make it a 3D layer. And I need to orient this to the camera and set this to hard light and adjust the ambient to my liking. So obviously I need to now link this shadow, which I can rename to moon shadow and planet shadow. Move this over the moon. Can marry this to the moon controller. And that obviously is sticking with the moon and everything. Now let's see, let's just make sure this whole thing works. It may not. I'm just gonna open up this moon controller or on the keyboard. Start rotating this thing. So it appears to work. This sun is stationary over here. So maybe we do need to do some adjustments on, um, on the shadow map, but in general, it looks pretty good. Um, it looks exactly the way you'd expect it to look. Um, now the shadows, you don't necessarily want to rotate with the planet. Um, you may, I guess, that, that might be something you would wanna do. Um, so if it is, it's as simple as opening up the, the moon shadow and the planet shadow and basically doing the exact same thing here with XYZ, holding Alt. and marrying these up with these being negative. And copying these down. So that might be what you want, what you're looking for. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, check out other videos on this channel, and be sure to check out the project file on our Patreon account. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.